What's up, babes? Good morning. It's Curly's of Victoria back with yet another lock video. So if you're new here, I welcome to the channel. If you've already been subscribed, thanks for coming back. I'm not sure what the lighting's looking like right now. I kind of don't want to open the blinds a bit further because you guys know I don't even want to go into the details. Never mind. Um, so basically, this is what my hair is looking like right now. I just showed you guys, I think, the other day. So I'm going to try to turn around and give you guys more of an accurate look. I think you guys were able to see a good amount. You guys know my hair is layered. Um, so let me just tell y'all how I went ahead and cheated um, my wash day today, partially. So I'm planning on dyeing my hair jet black. You guys know I normally keep it jet black and I just think it's time to freshen it up. So instead of washing, so I washed my hair about a week ago and instead of like fully moisturizing it, fully oiling it and stuff like that, I went ahead and just literally washed it and then a day came where I had to put edge control on my hair and I went ahead and put edge control. So, no, thank you, Briggs. Let me finish. Um, He hear me talking, so he thinks something going on. Really, I'm just talking about my hair. So I went ahead and I put edge control on my hair throughout the week, which I got a new edge control, which I need to tell y'all about because chef's kiss, I like it. Um, I went to my beauty supply recently and I just felt like let me get some more edge control because I'm out. But let me get something different because I want to know if there's something better or what are the girlies using right now. So the edge control that I showed y'all before, the Morphos, that edge control is still popping. It's still a good edge control and they still have about four or five different ones in their store. However, this new one that I got, don't quote me, I forgot what it's called. It's white with black lettering. So the whole um, product is the product design is all white with black letters so when you open it it looks like the edge control is also black because I think the base of it is probably black but when you actually get it out it's clear so that actually did good I haven't been able to fully go in with the edge control routine because I was like out and about one day and I just needed to put it on there real quick so we're gonna have to see what that's like and then I bought me some more got to be glue just like while I was out and I needed to do my edges so um Long story short, I had to put edge control on my freshly washed hair over this last week, which I wasn't planning on putting products because I was going to dye it. <clears throat> because I had to do that, I just went ahead this morning and gave myself like a cheat real quick. I just cheated real quick and only rinsed out my edges so that I can get the product out of my edges from the edge control from the week, which luckily it wasn't that much. Same thing with the got to be glue, it wasn't that much. So I wet my edges and as you guys can see, they're wet, they're soft. And then also some of my locks here are also wet from the sprout of the water. So I'm gonna let my hair dry. If I was to wash my entire head, then let it dry, then dye it, then wash it again, then let it dry, I would be stressed. So I decided like before you dye, just get the product out of the edges in the nape since you know that that's where the product was and the product wasn't really on my lock so once that dries now I can either dye it today or dye it over the next couple days whatever and not worry about there being product in my hair so what the goal is is to dye this bad boy today wash out the dye once I wash out the dye I need to style it but that's where your girl needs to figure out what is the style going to be do I want to do a regular retwist? Do I want to do a braid out? Do I want to do two strand twists? Do I want to do bantu knots? So I don't like washing my hair. Personally, I don't like washing my hair and then not knowing what the next step is for my hair. So if I'm gonna wash it, I need to know, are we air drying? Are we retwisting? Are we bantu? What are we doing, sis? So that's what I need to um, figure out. Am I putting it up in a bun? Like, what are we doing? So once I figure that out, I'm gonna go in with the dye, which I'll probably make a separate video showing you guys how I'm dyeing my hair. 
but this is definitely uh, part one and just giving you guys an update. So that was like a length check slash lock update slash, um, yeah. <clears throat> Remember I told you guys I was going to try to get a few pull days in before. I wanted to get a couple more pull days in before your girl uh, calls it a summer. Like I know it's technically summer's over, but there's still hot days where you can literally go to the pool if you wanted to. So I think I might just hang up the pool days and go ahead and dye the hair. I don't know. I'm not sure yet, but if I dye the hair, I'm definitely going to have to give up the jumping in the pool because I do not, <laughs> excuse me, I do not freshly dye my hair and then proceed to um, jump in pools. That's just not me, whether it's bleached or it's regular dyed. I do not do that. So, as you guys can see, I don't have any makeup. I don't have any lashes. Um, I'm trying to make sure that my skincare is top tier. I'm going to take my vitamins and stuff this morning because I feel like I've been slacking. The current vitamins that I've been using are my multivitamins by Care Of. I told you guys that I want to get the blended pack that basically has the... Because you know Care Of, customize your daily vitamins. Um, you pick what you want and then they package it up, charge you, and you pay for all of your subs. But it has your name on the actual packages for your daily intake, opposed to the generic ones that if you buy them at Target, they um, just come like this, multivitamins for women. But I don't know if it's the Aquarius in me or just the detail, but I want my vitamins to have my name on the pack. I know some of y'all be like, girl, chill out. But no, I love details like that. Like little little things like that will make my day. <clears throat> if I'm waking up in the morning to take my vitamins and it's got my name on the pad, who not going to try to take these vitamins? Because <laughs> saying, hey, Carlisa Victoria, or good morning, Carlisa Victoria, who don't want to be said good morning to on their vitamins? <laughs> so over this next like <clears throat> month, I'm giving myself 90 days to really focus on my hair growth routine. You guys know I'm always breaking up things into routine, 30-day fitness routine, 90-day hair growth routine. <clears throat> I haven't had nothing to drink or anything, so I'm a little parched and I'm trying to talk. Anyway, I want over the next 90 days, so September, October, November, um, we're going to be focusing even December. I'll, I'll add December in there too. But over the next 90 to 120 days, your girl 90 to 100 days your girl is really going to be focusing on intake so taking my probiotics for my gut health taking my um multivitamins for my skin and overall gen general health taking my iron um my stress relief all those capsules these are like freaking horse pills i can't stand pills so if i can get things in the form of like a drop like my beauty vitamins which i have no idea where they're at but like my beauty my beauty drops i could put those into my um beverages like my coffee and stuff but taking capsules i'd be like bruh i'm good on that look how big these pills are they're like horse pills um but i take one a day i think you're, you're allowed to take up to two yeah serving size two but I feel like because I'm taking a probiotic, I'm taking a multivitamin, I'm taking maybe a stress relief dependent on the day. Um, a lot of times I'm taking drops um, for my hair, skin, and nail. Like, that's a lot of steps already. So a lot of times I'm not trying to take two of something that has two daily servings because I'm already getting portions of these servings in other supplements as well. Um, <clears throat> I need to up my protein again. I need to lose some weight. So I think it's all going to go hand in hand. But outside of my wash routine and my moisture routine and stuff like that that I do for my locks, the next thing that I definitely have to do is really, like I said, get back on my supplements. Like I have them in the house. It's just some days I haven't been taking them. So I really need to get back on that for my overall health. But if I want to see some tremendous growth in my hair, imagine if my hair is already growing from the things I'm doing now can you imagine when I like get back to incorporating my subs and stuff like look I'm gonna look straight ahead and y'all look like 
like that's top tier that's next level so what i'm gonna end up doing is letting my hair dry right now which is not gonna take long because all i did was literally wet my hair in the front real quick like i didn't drench it i just like wet it and kind of to get out the product i didn't use any shampoo or anything because i didn't want to add additional products but i definitely you know did my thing to get it out And then I don't want the dye to be dripping. So when I do dye it, I need to be focused. Um, I do want to get some business stuff uh, working. I brewed some fresh coffee last night. I just poured it into the container this morning. And I got some sitting in the, in the freezer just for a quick chill. And then I'm going to make my morning coffee. Then I think I'm going to come in here. Maybe I'll read. If I don't read, then I need to work on some business stuff. So I need to email my professor. There's a lot of things that your girl needs to do, but I wanted to get on here and give you guys a hair update routine, let you guys know what the plans are for your girl. Dying it jet black. Um, and then styling it. It's Monday. <clears throat> this week I'm gonna be doing my reset. I'm gonna have a reset routine, sis. So I'll be resetting. I need to get my nails done again because I have literally peeled off all the SNS and then started biting my nails again like I used to do in the past. Stress and nerves. So I need to get it together because you know my nails grow super long and right now they look like somebody's little brother. So I'm gonna at least this week get my toes done. I need to schedule a pedicure. I need to schedule my nails. I'm trying my hardest to not go get them lashes done because y'all know your girl wants to go get her lashes done. But I'm going to try to grow them out. So I'm going to be, that's another thing. Taking my vitamins is going to help my hair grow, hair, skin, and nails. And then I'm going to be putting oil on my like lashes and stuff like that to grow out my natural lashes again. Because every time I'm putting on fake lashes, there's nothing really to hold on to. So that's why I feel like my lashes are falling out. No, I'm always like, why wow, my lashes come out? They're falling off because it's too get out bricks because there's barely anything there for them to hold on to. So I mean, when you think about it, it makes sense. So let me let y'all go. I just wanted to fill y'all in. Like, comment, share, subscribe. More content to come. Um, follow your girl's socials, and I'll see y'all in another one.